So the first thing I will do is I will draw a quick sketch of the building. So let's assume I will just draw the slab here, for example. And here the columns. Just a copy here, columns. And I will draw the borders. Okay, so this is one block or one floor. So uh, I will just copy and paste to save time. Okay, I will rename also each floor quickly. Start with five. So this is a quick sketch of the building. The second step we will do is we will go to Primavera. I uh, will just take the uh, five floors here, copy, and just to paste them. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and uh, the whole sketch is based on percentages, so I will just get rid of any other columns. I will just keep the description for my quick reference and the percentages as well. And uh, it has the space of Promovera copy and paste, so I will just remove this space quickly with a trim function. Click here, here, and I will drag. Okay. Okay, I will copy, then paste the value, one, two, three, delete. And the second step is, so we want to uh, show the progress or the colors based on the progress of form work, repair, and costing. So there are three parameters in each floor. So I will do the coding process right now. So I will just, um, so this is floor one. So for I, here I have the slab. So I have three possible values for the slab, which is for more care bar and costing. So I will take the activity ID here, just paste it here. And for the report as well. And for costing. Okay, I will do the same also for the columns. So for columns, it, start, it starts with the rebar. And if this is a column, I will just start basting here on the like second row of the column. For work and casting. So I will do that for the whole building. <clears throat> It is only one time task, so you have to do it only once, then you don't have to worry about it at all. So just spend the time, do the coding, you know, how to link Primavera to the sketch, and um, then we can, uh, uh, we can start. Now I have done it for the whole sketch. So once you see this part of the sheet right now, you will understand that uh, for this is a slab, and this is the activity ID for a slab for more rebar and the costing. And um, for the columns, rebar, then for work, then costing. So the next step is we, we will show here the percentages uh, from this table for each activity ID. So I will use the formula VLOOKUP. And by using VLOOKUP, I'm telling the Excel to search for this activity ID in the whole sheet here. And once it finds the activity ID. I want to ask the Excel to show me the corresponding activity percentage complete. So let's do it. VLOOKUP. Uh, I will open it here. So this is a value I want to search for. The table array is this part. And once you select it, I want also to fix it by F4. 
so here the dollar sign it means i am freezing my search uh, area so you can do f4 so you will highlight it first and then you press f4 or function f4 it depends on your pc or laptop so you try both so when i copy and paste the formula later so i still freezing the search area so it will not go beyond this table so i can copy and paste the formula and once the excel finds the activity id so this is a column index number so give me the third value of the table so i'm searching for this table so this is activity id activity description activity percentage complete i want to extract the activity percentage complete so this is a third column so press three and range lookup will keep it zero okay and what i will do is i will just copy and paste for the whole um, sketch i will i will show the percentages under the activity id now based on all this data here i want to determine if the element is completed in progress or not started and i want the excel to do it for me i will not do it manually so if this column is completed it means the whole element is completed this is the casting the last milestone if it's completed it means the whole element is completed but if it's less than 100 percent it has 80 percent for example then the whole element is in progress for these two columns if i have a value greater than zero two percent or any value greater than zero it will mean also in progress but if the three values are zero it will be not started so how can i tell excel to do that for me we will use the ifs formula not if ifs with an s so we have here the uh, ifs formula I will open the argument table so we'll run some tests so the first test is um, I want to go here so this is the third milestone the costing completion so I will uh, I will say if this equals one which 100% because this is how Excel understand it if it's 100% so the number is actually one if it is 50% then it's 0.5 so if it's 1 or 100% so tell me it is completed the whole element is completed the second test is if this value is greater than 0 it means in progress the third test is this value also if it is greater than zero you can just scroll from here so it is in progress as well the last test is if this value equals zero so it means the formwork did not start yet for the slab so the whole element not started so tell me it is not started Okay, so four tests, and um, I will explain, you know, the logic uh, behind, you know, this argument. So, um, if in, in F's formula, so they determine the outcome based on the priority. So, if the first test is met, the conditions are met, show me the value of the first test. But if it is not met, if the condition, this equal one, is wrong, so go to the second test and run the second test if it is wrong also go to the third test so this is how you know uh, the the f's formula is working based on the priority so that's why i wanted was to start with the costing because if it equals one it is completed and you don't you do not have to go th to to run you know more tests and um yeah so if the first condition is not met so he will run the second test if it's greater than zero the this progress going on it is in progress but also the costing is not completed because we run also at the first you know the first test and this is how you know the for the logic is working so we'll click okay 
So based on this value, so they run the first test, so it's not completed. Nothing is in progress. It is all zero, so it is not started. So we'll just copy and paste here. It is all not started. After that, I will apply conditional formatting for the building sketch. So I will highlight all of them this way. I will go conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, a text. We will apply the conditional formatting based on the text. So a text that contains. The first value we have, it is completed with custom format. So the filling, let's do it in green. Okay, but I will not choose it from here. I will show you why. So we'll go to more colors. You choose the green and you copy the hex number. Okay, you go to font, color. You go to also more colors, custom. You paste the same hex number. And what happens here is you have a color for the font and a color for the cell filling. And if they are both the same, so the text will not appear. If you want to show the text, so you go to the font, you choose maybe black color, so it will be black font over green cell filling, but I do not prefer showing, um, like I can maybe show a legend here somewhere above the sketch, maybe orange is in progress, green is completed, but I do not prefer writing the text, and this is how I can go around it. So now I have both the text and the cell filling is in green for the completed part. Okay. And I'll click OK also. I will go again, conditional formatting. A text that contains the in progress. Custom format. The filling is in orange, but I will go also more colors. Copy the hex number. Okay, font, color, more colors, custom, copy, paste the, again, the hex number, the orange one, and click OK. Another rule, a text that contains, so in this case, not started. There will be no color for not started, but I'm doing the conditional formatting so it can remove the text if the cell has not started value. Custom format. So the filling will be no color, okay? And the font, I want it white. Okay. Okay. So now it's done. I have done the conditional formatting. So let's do one test. So here for the activity percentage complete, if it is 100% for the slab form work, so the first part of the loop is the VLOOKUP value. So I took the value here from here because I did the coding. So, and also based on the text, before I remove the text, based on the text, so it shows me in progress because based on Fs, which is here, based on all this formula, so it actually give me the outcome as in progress. Based on the status, so I highlighted on uh, orange. So if the rebar is 100%, also it is still in orange. So what I do, if what if I do the casting complete? Changes to green because it's all here 100%. This is the first test, the first test we run in Fs here so this is the first test we run if it is completed everything else is completed and this is how i can uh, show the color here so let's go for example i will do another test some progress column also is done and this is how you can get the colors based on the sketch but you do not have to up to to update the sheet manually you can actually copy and paste from Promavera directly because you are doing the Promavera update anyway on regular basis. So you do not have to update again on Excel. You can take advantage of only the presentation, you know, without any effort. So let's do that. We will go Promavera. 
So this is after you have done the update. So let's assume that you, there is one floor completed, slab and columns, second floor is in progress. So you just don't have to worry about it. You just uh, copy, you know, five floors, for example. You can do it for the whole project. This is only a sample to show you how you can do it. So I copy and you go here and paste. Uh, but first, you know, you, you have to uh, make sure that, you know, I have only here three columns. So before you do the copy, make sure it is only three columns. So you customize. I have only the name and the percentages. It has to be the same only. And copy. And uh, paste. And you have to get rid of the space here so the formula can work. So trim. Copy. Paste. And that's it, done. You do not have to do anything manually here anymore. You did the update once. You you need only to invest the time in building the, the sheet. It's only one time task. Once you have done it the way I showed you. So this is how you can um, extract information and show the visual presentation of the building. So of course, um, if it's a big project, of course it will be very helpful for you because you do not have to go manually update the colors, but this is only sample. But if it's like a bigger project, you can apply it in a bridge project, a tunnel, I did it only for a building, but it applies everywhere actually. And what you can do, you can just customize it. So you can hide all of this information here. And you know, this is your report ready after you did your Promavera update, it's ready right away. So I hope you liked this video. You can download this sheet for free. You can go to www.smartpmacademy.com. I will leave the link. As, as below below the video so you can go there and grab your free uh, download for the sheet in case you wanted to have it as a reference in the future you want to correct some formulas so you can have it and all the best